Hamilton there with the sport. Now, as we approach the centenary of the end of the First World War uh, this Sunday, this year will have a double meaning for the people of Poland, because November the 11th also marks 100 years since the country uh, regained independence after more than a century of foreign rule. And I'm glad to say that uh, here in the studio now we have uh, Poland's ambassador to the United uh, Kingdom, who's with us, Arkady Zygotsky. Thank you very much indeed for being with us, Mr. Ambassador. First of all, then, talk us through what this means for Poland and for Polish people, this 100th anniversary. Oh, this is amazing. This is one of the most important dates in our history, regaining independence after, one, uh, well, after 123 years of uh, uh, foreign occupation of three countries. So, so in 1918, we regained our independence, and now, uh, nowadays we celebrate it uh, all over Poland, but also all over the world, everywhere when Poles and friends of Poland live. Yeah. Well, at, at the end of the First World War, what state was Poland in? Because Europe had been through this terrible, disastrous conflict. That's true. But uh, the only one positive thing about this conflict was that three main powers, absolutist countries which uh, occupied Poland, I mean, Prussia, Russia and uh, Austria, fighting each other. So that was the chance for, for Poland to regain independence. Uh, so that's that, that's why we, we celebrate, but but it's not um, uh, this important that the celebration is going all over the Central Europe and all these uh, nations regain uh, freedom mm. this time. And so then fast forward through history from 1918 when you regained independence to 1939 and the Nazis and Hitler and the invasion of Poland and, and obviously a nightmare for the Polish people. No, it was very difficult century for us, uh, in fact, because of this uh, two totalitarian regimes. I mean, Nazi Germany, and we started and fight with, with uh, Nazism uh, from the first day of the Second World War. Uh, but also we were uh, invited by the Soviet Russia. Uh, so, uh, in fact, for us, the Second World War was finished in 1989 when we regained our freedom and independence once again. And just staying with the Second World War briefly, of course, Polish fighter pilots were, were a key part of the, the battle against the Nazis in the air, weren't they? Thank you for the discussion, because the, there was an uh, amazing contribution of Polish pilots fighting together with British py pilots against Nazi Germany. Uh, and especially yesterday, I was um, uh, invited for the premiere of the 303 Squadron film, a new film about this legendary, the best squadron during the Battle of Britain. Uh, and in fact, it's the second film this year. Uh, the, the previous one was, was uh, made by, by our British uh, friends. Uh, and I'm so glad that two films um, remind us about this huge contributions of more than 20,000 Polish airmen and airwomen who was fighting together with RAF. And after the Second World War, gradually the common market was formed, the European Union and so on. And Poland, after the Iron Curtain came down, joined that. Um, what are your thoughts now on Brexit as the Polish ambassador here to the UK? I suppose I have to ask you that question. Yeah, but we have to remember that London was a centre for the Poles after the Second World War for the Free Poles and Polish government in exile, a Polish president was here till 1990. So, so there's a huge uh, tradition and common links going back to, to history, not only to the Second World War. Yeah. Nowadays, uh, we, 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 we are very sad that Britain is leaving the European Union. Uh, there's our close ally, even friends, uh, and uh, we are working hard to have uh, close links also after Brexit. And there are so many Polish people living in Britain, I think. I, I don't know how many exactly. Uh, probably more than one million. About a million. Okay. But the Polish is the, is the second language after okay. English in, in Britain nowadays. And I, are you worried that with Brexit, you know, there is uncertainty surrounding um, Polish citizens living in the UK? Of course, there is uncertainty you know, among every uh, citizens living in, in Britain, European Union citizens. But I have to say, uh, say that we cooperate very closely with British authority to challenge that uh, because um, it's very, very important to keep the rights of the European Union citizens and uh, to keep our relations as close as possible also after Brexit. Mr. Ambassador, thank you very much for being with us. That is Arkady Zhegotsky. I think I've pronounced that vaguely correctly. I'm really impressed. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> Thanks you. for being with us here on BBC News. Thank